Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. For the Lion and the Emperor, we've got some awesome Dark Angels for you guys to check out today. A lovely little force uh, with uh, 10 Tactical Marines, a Dreadnought, or a Venable Dreadnought should I say, and also a Captain in Terminator plate. Um, great commission completed by Nick, one of the artists here at Siege. Let's jump in and have a look at these really, really cool miniatures. So we'll start with the Captain just because there's no better place to start than the character himself. A really cool, iconic Terminator that I think uh, is going to last a test of time and will be one of those iconic captains that we see through the through the many years to come. Uh, Nick's done a great job of picking out all the edge highlighting across all the armour, various stages of highlighting on this miniature. Uh, lovely, subtle, dark rouge kind of cape uh, and also uh, sort of loincloth as well. The uh, the bolter, obviously, in that bright, very stylistic red casing uh, on some, as you'd expect on some of the Dark Angels from earlier sort of second editions. All the gold work with lots of highlighting. Really like the lenses that are all picked out on the Terminator plate. You've got the red and the blue one there, uh, and the tiny little red one just underneath the blue one. All the purity seals with text and everything. The gold has got various stages of highlight on it as well, and the eyes and everything all done on the facial features, as you expect with us here at Siege. You've got the Crux Terminators done in that lovely grey. Uh, all the power cables with chevrons on them. You've got the power field uh, generator and also the node glowing there on the power sword, uh, just to really, really pick out those little details. Love the amount of tonal variation just on this outer clot, outer sort of cape, which I think works extremely well again you've got another power cable there obviously with the chevrons on it um all the little details on the purity seals all fully painted the text and everything and uh, all the gold work as i mentioned has got some really really nice highlighting done on it so that's just this awesome awesome terminator captain um we're gonna have a look at some of the tactical marines obviously there's 10 of them it's nice to see some tactical marines with the amount of primaris that are out at the moment and um, that are kicking around you've got this awesome chap here with the missile launcher nick's done a great job as you can see again with the red lenses across the models all of them have obviously got the chapter symbol on their pad the missiles with those uh, sort of lovely white and red kind of colorway, the little lenses and lights and things just on the rear of the pack all painted uh, and various stages of highlighting done across all of the armored areas of the miniature. Again, some more lights and buttons and dials all painted there uh, on the uh, the missile launcher as well. Uh, then let's have a look at the chap that's got the robe as well. Do really like that. You can see his teeth and eyes and everything all painted and his bionic eye. Um, maybe another sergeant or just the second in command for this tactical squad. Again, you've got some extra little trinkets and things just painted. There's some nice sort of daggers and swords kind of just hanging down there. You can see that lovely super sharp highlighting done on all the areas of armor paneling on these guys. So that's just another one of the uh, the normal Dark Angel tactical marines. I will pull forward a few of the normal regular marines. That guy's a little bit special with his hood. But you've got this chap here just obviously with a, with a bolter. Uh, again, all the purity seals and things all fully painted. The same consistency across all of the miniatures and all the edging just throughout the force. Really super, super sharp sort of highlighting on all these. Lovely kind of classic kind of Dark Angels kind of livery on these guys. Uh, we'll jump across and leave the uh, leave the big boy till last. Uh, just to pull forward a few more of the Tactical Marines just so you can see the consistency of all the miniatures. Uh, really do like how dark the armour is on these guys. I think it works extremely well. Makes them look even more sinister and possibly suspicious. Uh, so that's just uh, another one of the Tactical Marines. Then we'll have a look at the Sergeant of the Squad. Uh, you couldn't miss him out with those ginormous winged uh, areas of the, his helm. Which is quite cool. Obviously with a plasma pistol as you'd expect any uh, Dark Angel with their uh, profoundness for using plasma weapons. Uh, power sword again with the little runes and things all painted and also the power nodes highlighted and made to look energized, which is just nice. Uh, and again, all the little lenses and things on the helmets all with point of light source or refraction and catch light, which I just think works and gives that real realistic narrative to the uh, lenses. You can see again, that super sharp highlighting done on all the areas of the armor, the pack and absolutely everything. So that's just the sergeant. And lastly, let's have a look at the flame up from the tactical squad a really cool weapon uh, again just done in a really super super clean finish you can see again the same consistency across the miniature for all the highlighting and everything that's on this chap uh, really do love the little white catch lights in the lenses as well just to show that light refracting on the lens uh, and then let's have a look at the venerable dreadnought himself uh, the base rim it painted different color as per our client request in case you're wondering uh, so that's just this awesome venerable dreadnought just get that to focus a little bit for you you've got uh, some names just written there 
there on the uh, sort of scrolls. Uh, you've got Lion written on one, Elias, Elias written on the other, and Armis written on the other, which is quite cool. Uh, that red casing on the plasma weapon and also on the storm bolts are just touching back to that second edition kind of theme. The super sharp highlighting, as you can see, across all the carapace, all the lenses and everything done, so you can see where he's going, uh, which is great. Uh, and again, you've got every little detail painted on the miniature, all the purity seals done with text. Uh, and again, this really cool kind of like urban style basing just on this guy as well. So that's just him. And that's it. We have this awesome little Dark Angels force that's now off to go and hunt for the fallen, whoever they are. Um, but a really, really cool uh, Dark Angels force. And uh, I hope that you've liked it ever so much. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.